CQI is a Chinese professional third-party inspection company providing quality control services to buyers of consumer goods imported from China. Cross-border physical trade is characterized by long transaction cycles, which is a challenge for us, as some inherent defects cannot be detected directly at the inspection site. A few days ago, a North American client sent us this email. Here's the thing. In September, we sampled and inspected a batch of gaming chairs for them in Zhejiang. By taking the sea, they found that 90% of the products were contaminated by fungus, mold spots after receiving the goods. They were 400 pieces to be reworked. The severely damaged ones needed to be destroyed, and the sales were affected. The customer asked us to comment in the email. This customer's product category is rather mixed, from household to electronic appliances. We guess the customer does not understand this product. The intention of sending an email is to ask us to know why this situation occurs. After receiving the customer's feedback, we immediately launched an investigation. First, for our inspection at the time, we revisit all the photos and videos from that time. When the inspector arrived at the factory on September 9th, 100 cases of goods had just finished being packed. The remaining 25 pieces were inspected directly for product parts. No mold was found from the product appearance check. In the furniture inspection, we attach great importance to whether the product has mold phenomenon. In particular, this chair is wrapped by PU leather. Leather contains proteins and other nutrients. Plus, the leather surface is easy to be dusty and absorb moisture. Its structure makes it easier for mold to stay. In the preservation process, it is very easy to be infiltrated by bacteria, mold, and mildew. So we have special attention to the surface of the chair itself in the inspection process, not finding mold and other odor except for the smell of leather. At the same time, we checked the weather conditions at the time. There were indeed a few heavy rains led to increased air humidity. Plus, the goods went by sea and needed to go in the great humidity of the Pacific Ocean for two months, creating a good growth environment for mold. So if the PU leather is not treated with anti-mold, all PU is not anti-mold material, which will greatly increase the risk of moldy chairs. Second, we also conducted a full investigation of the chair manufacturer. This factory is located in Zhejiang Anji. The factory specializes in high-end chairs, Low and small orders are sent out to other factories' production. The factory salesman said to us before the inspection that the products this time were low in goods. The purchase price was low. Viewers who know about made in China should know that it is very difficult to control the quality of outgoing made goods. In order to reduce the risk, we were also strict with the inspection standard in advance to avoid the factory to use the second best to harm our customers' interests. So we think there may be a case of the factory using a poor quality PU ladder to keep costs down. At present, we guess that the cause of the problem is likely to be the raw materials are stored in the warehouse. The product is dumped and mold begins to multiply, then in the closed environment of the container. Poor airflow, coupled with high temperature, most multiplication speeds up. However, in the inspection, we were only allowed by the factory to disassemble a product and check the internal structure, and no trace of mold was found. Unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, our inspection was able to find 90% of the product's problems, including product structure, cosmetic defects, usage functions, and batch problems. But for raw material problems, which is limited by the customer's purchase price, coupled with the quality of some materials cannot be judged by the naked eye, we can do very little at the side. Of course, CQI has learned some lessons from this case, and we need to pay more attention to details in future inspections, such as asking for raw material lab test reports from factories and suppliers in advance, improving our understanding of product quality and structure, and putting ourselves more comprehensively in the customer's shoes for quality control. Finally, explain why we made this video. On the one hand, we have been in the inspection industry for more than 10 years and have gained a wealth of information and experience. However, in individual cases, we still have room for improvement. So through such a video, we can also keep alert to the development of the industry on our own services and remind ourselves to be more considerate for our customers.
On the other hand, sometimes it is the conflict between the seller and the buyer because of the purchase price that causes problems in product quality. Through our sharing, under the principle of not exposing any information about a customer, but also we hope that those who are engaged in international physical trade will have a better handling when they encounter similar problems, and of course, to help secure inspection to advertise.